Hello all, this is the Pancrest High School AP Physics 1 video series. This is video 6A, Introduction to Impulse and Momentum. Now momentum is another term that has um, different usages depending on context. You'll hear uh, of sports teams that have momentum uh, in a particular game or at a particular time. Uh, political campaigns can gain or lose momentum as an election gets closer. Um, momentum is even applied in institutional or economic situations. Uh, most of these are figurative applications um, because technically momentum has a very specific uh, physical definition. Uh, it's often used in uh, contact sports like football or hockey. You see a player uh, hit by another player, and the commentator will say something like, um, he gets hit, but his momentum carried him over the goal line. Um, as you'll see, this is actually a very good use of the term uh, momentum. Uh, for our purposes, momentum has the symbol P. Uh, notice that it's a vector. Uh, nobody appears to know definitively uh, why P was chosen or when it was chosen. Um, some say it dates from Newton's time, others 1940s, some say the 1960s. Uh, as far as we're concerned, it doesn't matter. Um, lowercase p means momentum. Now the formula for momentum is very simple. Um, p equals mv. You'll note that um, this is in a red box, which means it is on your formula sheet. Um, M is mass, of course, and V is velocity. I want you to note that this is a vector equation. Uh, momentum is a vector. Uh, we know that means it has a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude is determined by multiplying the mass and the magnitude of the velocity, and the direction is uh, the same as the direction of the velocity. Now we would also say that momentum uh, is an instantaneous quantity. Uh, we describe an object or uh, a little later on uh, a system of objects as having a particular amount of momentum uh, at a particular time. Now Newton referred to momentum frequently in his Principia, which we talked about during uh, the Newton's Laws section. Uh, he called it quantity of motion. Um, he used the change in momentum, uh, which we're going to see shortly, uh, to define the acceleration and the net force. We'll see how we related them uh, in a minute. <clears throat> so now impulse is a change in momentum. This change in momentum must occur over an interval of time. Uh, we know already that the change in anything uh, is defined as the final minus the initial. So we calculate impulse this way. Impulse is um, delta P, of course, that means change in momentum, equals final momentum minus initial momentum. Now we're going to introduce a different notation. We're going to call it the prime notation, which in this case will indicate uh, the final momentum. Uh, very often in this section of the course, we're going to have uh, some information about uh, the initial conditions of the object or the system, uh, and then some interaction is going to take place. Um, maybe an external force is applied, maybe there's a collision with another object. Um, whatever the case, we're going to have to determine something about the final conditions of the system um, after this interaction takes place. <clears throat> we can refer to these conditions as initial and final. Um, we can refer to them as before and after. Um, a and B, whatever you like, as long as you can keep them straight. Um, now, in our notation, the delta P, the Im impulse, equals P prime, which is the final value, minus P, which is the initial value. Notice that impulse is also a vector quantity, uh, which means that it also has a magnitude and a direction. Uh, typically, in any interaction, 
the mass of the object in question doesn't change. So any impulse, any change in momentum can be attributed to a change in the velocity. Uh, so we can also calculate the velocity this way. There's a, a series of formulas here. Um, here's your original PF minus PI. We can also say that that's equal to the mass of the object times the quantity of VF minus VI or final velocity minus initial velocity. If you prefer, uh, when we did kinematics, we used V and V naught for the final and initial velocities. Or with our new notation prime and unprime, we can use mass times V prime minus V. V prime is the velocity um, after the interaction and V is the velocity before. So again, you can look at this as final minus initial. All of these are equivalent impulse formulas. Please note, none of these appear on the formula sheet. <clears throat> okay, we already talked about V prime and V. So V prime is the final velocity or the velocity after the interaction. Uh, v is the initial velocity or the velocity before. The interaction. Now we'll take a quick look at um, uh, Newton's usage here. Uh, recall Newton's second law. Uh, acceleration is defined as the change in velocity over time. If we say F equals MA, we can define A as delta V over T. Multiply both sides by T and we get F times T equals M times delta V. Now we know that M times delta V that's the definition of impulse, which we saw here. So this m times delta v is the impulse. Therefore, the impulse can also be defined as a force exerted over an interval of time t. This expression, delta p equals ft, <clears throat> it's in a red box, which means uh, it does appear on the formula sheet as shown. In order to differentiate momentum and impulse frequently, uh, the unit for impulse is given as Newton seconds, um, n space s, or uh, if you're going to put this in uh, WebAssign, dimensionally, Newton second is the same as kilogram meters per second, so they are equivalent, okay? And um, again, WebAssign in particular knows that a kilogram meter per second is the same thing as a newton second but um, you typically wouldn't want to use them interchangeably uh, technically they can be used interchangeably we would use this for momentum and this for impulse just for the sake of keeping them straight uh, sometimes it will become um, easy to confuse the two so okay that is our introduction to impulse and momentum um, Next up, we'll take a look at uh, some one-dimensional uh, quantitative situations. Until then, enjoy, and I'll see you soon.